Hello? <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, we are at the second annual Powder Puff Football Hitchcock Tulare Football Challenge. Well, I showed up after the first drive. So red team forfeited the ball over because they did not get 10 yards. So now it's blue team's turn. We have Jessica Godfrey as center, Casey Stoner as quarterback, and we have Cambry Hookman as our running back. Then the rest of them are wide receivers. <laughs> They handed it off to Cambry. She's still going. Oh, brought down at the 40, 35 yard line. And a little shout out to Jackson Maynard and Landon Puffer for being our referees. The red team's coach, Cole Schrader, is not happy with their performance. And assistant coach Riley Flea is not having it at all. <laughs> so blue team got the play. They're lining up at the 37-yard line. Same positions. It's a pass. It's a pass. Casey Stoner threw it to the middle of nowhere. Incomplete. Ball remains at the 37. What's up? Shout out to Caitlin Schrader at the 50 yard line. Point it to him. Yo, there's Morgan too. Blue team up to the line again. Same positions. It's a drop back pass. She throws it up to Brooklyn Frankenstein. Oh, incomplete. Not even close. Though it was an incomplete pass, Cole Schrader still not happy with his team's performances right now. Blue team up to the line. We haven't seen much of execution from both sides of the team. I know we're just out here having fun, but... Oh, it's a run! It's a run! Oh! Camry Hookman pulled flags at the 49-yard line. Scratch that. 48 yard line. That was the first bit of action we've had all night. First down, 10 yards to go. Red team needs to stop here, otherwise blue is going to put a drive together. It's a drop back pass. 
Casey Stoner takes off. She's running. She's at the 30. Oh, taken down at the 35-yard line by Isabel Gilbert. Blue team made it to the red zone. Now all it is is a first down and 10 yards to the touchdown. So 20 yards if you do that math. Oh, incomplete pass. Casey Stoner to nobody. Incomplete. Ten minutes remaining in the half. Blue team up to the line. They say Hut, drop back pass, pitch to Cambry Hookman, running, oh, taken down by her sister. Two yard gain. Your sisters? Third down and seven. Blue team has the ball. Blue team comes up to the line. Jessica Godfrey at center. Casey Stoner as quarterback. Cambry Hookman as running back. Deep pass. Oh, incomplete. Good coverage by the red team. Fourth down and four. Fourth down and six, I mean. <laughs> Seven minutes, 30 seconds remaining of the half. Caitlin Schrader throwing absolute dimes along the sideline to Morgan Bottom. Oh, shoot. There's probably not. Nothing but spiral after spiral. Oh, no. Casey Stoner runs to the touchdown. Six points to the blue team. Our first touchdown of the night. That actually was good.
Do your job, Max Gilbert. If you want to, yeah. So they're going for the two-point conversion. Casey throws it to Jessica Godfrey for the two-point conversion. Eight points to zero. And we have two special guests now, Caitlin Schrader and Patrick Maynard. All right, I just wanted to come out tonight, talk about, you know, just the culture of the game of football. It's just, it's, re it's really nice to see all these girls show up and the stands are full, really. Show the stand, bro. Stands are full. It's just, it's great to have the support from the community. I just really think there's great sportsmanship and who's winning? I just think the blue team has really showed up so far. Um, you know. All right, anyways. It's just, just a great rivalry, and I really want to see these, where these girls go and just their progress from now to the end of the season. Um, now my assistant, Patrick, would really like to talk about this. I think, I think a lot of these girls are going D1, honestly. Uh, I mean, D1's hard to make, and they just put so much time into this game. Red team currently has the ball. Laney, the snapper, is giving it to uh, Grayson, giving it to Emery, hitting the outside, and Bro is going. <laughs> that was like a down on the 30 yard line. That was like a. 40 yard run is pretty good. All right, as we approach this first down here, the ball is going to be set at the. What's that? Give me a second. I can't do the math. 35 yard, 35 yard line, you know. 34. Let's, 34. Let's see if this red team can push it to the end zone, maybe yeah, start tying really this game up. Oh, the ref's trying to be friendly. Whatever. All right, like I said, it's first down. Red team's got to go now. Oh, and Emery is run Oh, that's going to be a loss. Cambry Hookman really snagged Emery right there on that short run. Yes, she did. Oh, coaches want to talk about this one. I think there might be a challenge on the play. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Nope, Maybe some fist thrown. No 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 challenge on the play all right so i'm going to i'm going to say i'm a loss of 5 you know it's getting pretty heated out here some girls are getting real frustrated homegirl laney's about to snap this ball to grayson bixler i'm expecting a pass maybe yep pass to okay that was horrible pass to caitlin woodward is incomplete but she definitely tried her best yep emery helps her up She's definitely a bit mad. See, this is where you really got to be mentally tough, you know. Sometimes it's hard to watch these young players get just bringing themselves down so much. So know, much potential. But you know, most of them are going D1, so. Yeah, they, they all got offers stacked. D1, D2 offers. Yeah. You see that lineman right there. Do we have linemen? Our center, Laney Humphrey. Offers from Clemson, <laughs> LSU, <laughs> LSU, Kansas State, Duke University, Duke, Creighton. Wait, does Creighton have football? I don't know. Oh, by the way, Emory just ran the ball. That stopped by Brooklyn Frankenstein, the hefty receiver. It is fourth and four. And it is fourth and four. It is fourth and four. We got about a minute 12 on the clock. 
Let's see what they can do with this ball. Fourth and five. Fourth and five, what he said. They really need this first down. Yes, they do. As you can see, these coaches over here, these coaches are really strategizing, doing anything and everything to give their team an advantage. Oh, she's looking at her options, looking at her reads, and Emery Arthurs gets stopped on that short rush. Gosh darn it. Oh, we want a timeout? Give it to him. Give it to him. Timeout for Red. They want to talk about it. How many do they got to go? Maybe we should review the What is it? Is it fourth down? First down. It's for first the blue down. Team. No way. All right, it's first down, folks. For the blue team. For Turnover. the. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, it's turnover on downs, folks. All right. Thirty-seven seconds. I'll be asking Patrick some questions while we have this brief intermission. So, um. Uh, so, do you know how to gritty? Yes. Back to the football game. <laughs> we are getting gritty <laughs> on the line. Oh, Jessica Godfrey ready for that snap to Casey Stoner. Oh, oh. Riley Flea needs one of them penalties. Coach is strategizing here. I wouldn't say that. I'd say he's a bit... Oh, Lord. And... Brooklyn Frankenstein is running as fast as she absolutely can, and she will get a big old gain. I think that'll be a nice first down for this blue About team. 20 yards. I would say like 21 <coughs> yards, but yeah, that's what I was. 21 and a half. Okay, yeah, maybe, probably 22, honestly. Our chain chain gang is doing pretty pretty good. We got Maxwell Gilbert, Nicholas Tollefson, and Preston Whiff. Howdy. I don't think Red's too happy about this one. All right, back to this conversation. We talked about the gritty with you. I just want you to explain how important this gritty is to you and how this, how does this affect LeBron James? <laughs> it really affects Le LeBron James's legacy here. Uh, so, yeah, back to the game now, though. All right, Jessica Godfrey snapping the ball. Casey, Casey Stoner stopped. Wait, yeah. Caitlin Woodward attacks that hole. With the sack. <laughs> Caitlin Woodward, the queen. With the sack. There is 10 seconds. If we want to get something going, we got to go now, Blue. Let us go. Three, Three two, two, one. one. All right. We got to go now. Oh, that was quite the throw. Incomplete. And that. Leg on the play. Is that the end of the game? Or just the first half? And that is the end of the first half, folks. I'd like to make note that the score is currently 8-0. Eight, to zero. eight, red, eight, no, blue. Blue is at 8, red is at 0. Let's bring it over to Patrick. This halftime show is presented by, uh, I don't even know, to be honest. This uh, this halftime show will be presented by Caitlin Schrader and Patrick Maynard. So uh, yeah, give us about like two seconds here. Well, I'm back. <laughs> Eric Solomon, a legend, the man, the myth, the legend, Eric Solomon. Basically, the best person in the world. So we got Caitlin Schrader and Patrick Maynard about to do their halftime show. Strange, but it appears that they are doing some patty cake, some gritty. Some dancing, some running. They appear to be chickening out of their halftime show, just running away, like scared little boys and girls.
Well, so far it's been a good time. Kind of slow. So we have Caitlin back and Patrick back. How was it good performance, or have you had better? No, we can definitely always do better. I thought we put like our heart and soul out on that field, and we really gave the audience, that big old audience, everything we could give um, onto Patrick. Yeah, we uh, we really worked hard on that performance there. Really, honestly. Very entertaining, but why the sudden running away off the field? Were you scared? Yes. With with the big old crowd here, you know, just really gets my anxiety going, you know. You know, Patrick's yeah. shoes were untied, so we had to get out of there before yeah. something bad happened. Yeah. I have those same socks, too. <laughs> basically twins. Yeah, basically. That's crazy. I can feel the bond right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So what do you see for the rest of the half? <laughs> uh, I'm really expecting Red to come out tough and strong here. Uh, really should uh, get back on Blue here. This Blue team is pretty good, though, so I don't know. Yes. It's a good insight. How's your lawn care? <laughs> My lawn care is uh, pretty great. Honestly, it's pretty green, you know. It's it's doing great, you know. Yeah. Because for a few dead spots in this field here, I say it looks pretty good. You know, yeah. For approaching this great. fall season, I think we're doing quite well keeping up with this field, and I just think it looks beautiful. Great to host these foosball games and stuff. Okay. We have Morgan here. Morgan Bottom. The man, the myth, the legend, my friend, Morgan. Hello. That's Morgan, yep. So I saw you were playing catch down there on the sideline. Did you enjoy that? No. Okay. My uh, my quarterback was not throwing good passes. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah. Was it a wobbly ball or a spiral? It was just like off course, wobbly. I heard Patrick just completely deflected every ball that was thrown. Yeah, he did because they're always like three yards in front of me, the ball. So Patrick could easily. The ball. Patrick could easily. No just, fly zone, no fly zone. Patrick could easily just knock the ball out of my way. Yeah. Always expect better, but. Yeah. yeah. You can't rely on your teammates. You just can't sometimes. Yeah. Okay. Well, back to the game. We'll see some more from Morgan later. Shout out to the man running the clock, Alex Whiff. Oh, yeah, we've started before the clock team was ready. That's on them, not me. 20 minutes left of the half, just started. Blue team has the ball. The whole field to go. Oh, wide open up the middle. Jessica. Oh, tackled. Not pulled flag, tackled at the 45. Boom goes down dynamite. <laughs> yes, it does. <laughs> I think more of an ego's hurt than her side right now. I'm going to be honest with you. Blue team is happy with that run. But red team is even happier that they even got the flag. You didn't see me have it on the I have suspicion. I did not. All right. I don't mean to bring some disrespect on this team, but I'm pretty sure we got some red people tying their flags. Hmm. Goofy. Bold strategy, as Mr. Gross would say. They they goofy, man. Just, just how it is. Oh, oh Casey back Casey, to pass. And that is incomplete. Incomplete. Oh. Ooh, the red team is hyped, but... Oh, they're yelling. Uh-oh. Oh, flag thrown. Land and puffer. Pass interference on the red team. What a turn of events here. I'm going to have a brief intermission. Patrick said he wants to beatbox. He did say that. 
Hit that run. <laughs> bum bottom bum bottom. <laughs> yeah, pretty good. Back to the game on this. Back to the game now. Thursday night. F and L. On this Saturday night, beautiful night here. Oh, run by Casey. She is zooming out of bounds at the 25. I don't know. This blue team's looking pretty good. Marching down the field again. Shout out to our cameraman, Saul. How's it, go How's it going, Saul? Yeah. He says, yeah. Yeah. I'm proud of you, Saul. Matthew, come here, come here, come here. What? All right, there is a game going on, but we have a very important guest right here. His name is Matthew Solomon. And he just... <laughs> and he just fell down the stairs. No, folks, he did not. Blue team still marching down the field. They are looking phenomenal. Jackson Maynard and Landon Puffer, the refs tonight at this game here, folks. The coaches don't really like the refs uh, right now here, so we'll see how this en the end turns out here. Jessica here to snap the ball to Casey. Oh, she is running. Pulled flag. About gain of two yards. Uh, we got a special guest here. Her name's like Sienna or something like that. So uh, how's it going? <laughs> Good. Would you like to talk? Yeah. Here you go. Um, right now they are taking the right side of the field. And Jessica is snapping the ball to Casey. Casey almost did not catch it. Oh, and that is an incomplete throw. The ref now has the ball, Jackson Maynard. He's, he just set it down. He's now walking back. <laughs> hey guys. Sorry, that was the nerd. Jessica is now snapping the ball again to Casey. Cambry is behind Casey. Oh, he got handed off to Cambry. Cambry is running. Grayson Bixler got her. Bummer. Um. I think. Grayson ripped the flag off of. I think it was turnover on downs. Red ball. All right. Um. I just wanted to say thank you, Mr. Justin, if you are listening to this. Biggest supporter right there. Number one fan. Always comes out and supports our Patriots, and I just love to see it. Everyone give that man some support. Amen. <laughs> um, it's your boy Morgan taking over for a little bit. Um, we got, uh, well, I mean, it's the first play, so not much is going on, actually. Okay, Emery. Oh, Emery was running the ball. Uh, got down by, I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. Um, they got one yard on the play. Um, big sub big shout out to Jackson and Landon. Um, they're definitely. Not the best we could have hired, if I'm honest, but they came and they're, they're they came, sporting. They came with a package deal with a couple of microphones, so and that's just what they wanted. Incomplete pass from Grayson to, um, 
I can't tell who that is. Caitlin Woodward. They're talking to each other through microphones. And Eric's back, the man, the myth, the legend, Eric. Eric is not back, it's Morgan. Grayson with the ball, throws, oh, and Ella drops the pass. It's fourth and nine. That was rough, oh my. Um, right now, um, the red team is eight. The, the blue team is eight. Red team is zero, my bad. Thank you, thank you, Patrick Maynard, for correcting me. You're welcome. Thank you. Looks like they are punting the ball. The ball goes to the 45 on blue side. Um, looks like Cole Schrader, the coach of Red Team, is yelling at the superintendent. What a, what a man, what a man. Okay, we got. Casey Stoner with the ball. Looks like she's going to run away. Oh, looks like, oh, incomplete pass, incomplete pass. Got rushed by Grayson Bixler. It's going to be second and 10 on the play. Okay, we got, they're lining up. They got four people on the left side. It's going to be a pitch to Cambry, and she's down. Looks like we got a loss of two on the play. Third down. And oh, 12. <laughs> Looks like they are lining up. Can Casey Stoner with the ball? Down! Down! I think it's a loss on the play. Down by Ella Johnson. Casey's getting mad. I would be too, though. Okay, we got a little um, arguing with the ref and Carter Binger. Okay, we're going to punt. It's going to go back. And the red team will have it. Looks like... Cole Schrader calm down after that little confrontation. The ball will be at the 25. Grayson is going to get the ball, and she's going to throw it to Emery. Emery's going to go. Emery has a gap to the 30, to the 20, to the 10, 
Touchdown! Uh, red team. It's going to be 8 to 6 as blue team has 8 and red has 6. Two visitor for the two point. Yep. Eric is way cooler than you. Okay, here we go. Red team for the two point. Um, ball's ready. Snapped. Grayson, oh, Grayson incomplete to uh, Caitlin Woodward. And it stands as blue team eight, red six. Uh, Eric is gonna take back over, uh, bye. Yay, I return. Sienna, what? Okay. And so red team just scored eight to six. Blue team still up by top by two. Seven minutes remaining. And here's Sienna Stoner. There we go. Hi. Okay. Blue ball. Here's blue team. Drop back pass. Throw it to Brooke and Flay Frankenstein. Incomplete. Good defense by Emery. It's a bit chilly out. I would be cold if I was playing. Alex Swift is back, running the clock again like always. Saul is still here running the camera. It's a little crowded, but you know, space is space, right? Space is space. I mean, what can I say? Oh, terrible throw. I think she was brought down. Incomplete. Well, it's third down and ten still. No gain. What do you have to say about that? TJ Solomon is right next to me. He's going to say something about that play. I honestly didn't really see it. <laughs> that was a great insight. Drop back pass. KJ Stoner has all day to throw. Oh, interception! She's running the wrong way! Oh, brought down at the 44-yard line. I don't know if she got turned around or something, but she ran the wrong direction. Patrick, what do you have to say about that? I don't know. I mean, she got the interception, so good job. Great. So now it's red ball. With four minutes remaining, down two. They need to score here to possibly have a better chance of winning. Yep, it's a overcasted night, yep. Oh, oh, incomplete. Gracie to 
Isabel incomplete. A little upsetting. Hope for more action than that. But what's done is done. Second and ten. So Cole Schrader and Riley Fleet and I guess Brendan Knoll are thinking up a game plan. Oh, and Blaze Binger. They got a whole crowd over there. Hut. Gracie throws it to Isabel again. Oh, a solid 10-yard gain. What a play. What a play. Possibly the best play of the night. So we just found out that the clock will stop within eight points of the last two minutes of the game. A pass to Caitlin Woodward. Oh, she slips and falls. Flag on the play. Flag on the play. Oh, no. Flag on the play. There is, in fact, a flag on the play. And, folks, there is a flag on the play. <laughs> it's crazy. Came out of nowhere. I'm the best around. Yes, I am the best around. <laughs> yes, I am. Yes, I am. The players seem to be competent on the ref's integrity. The players do seem to be complimenting the ref on his integrity. <laughs> Com Com Complementarianism. <laughs> oh, a deep pass from... Grayson, Gracie, incomplete, no flag, no yards gained, no yards lost. We are, in fact, at a stalemate, maybe. Well, I'm having fun. Are you, Saul? Yes. Yes, he is. Patrick, are you having fun? I'm having, indeed, great fun. Yes, it is a ball. Whatever that means. I read it in a book. <laughs> Another pass caught by Ella. Brought down. Gain of three yards. It is now second and six. So we are currently being yelled at by the players and coaches. The clock was not supposed to stop when they told us to stop it. Interception by blue team. Oh, oh. Blue team brought down at the 30 yard line. Reagan just saved the entire game for the blue team. They're up by two. All they got to do is get a first down and run the clock down. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Red team needs the ball back, whether it's an interception, a turnover on downs, or just getting the ball back. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of blitzing. There will be a lot of blitzing, hopefully, because they sure do need that ball. And the eye formation. Eye formation. Handoff. Oh, she juked a tackle. Oh, and knocked out of bounds at the 44-yard line. Clock stops. First and 10. Red team still needs that ball, and they still need to score. Cole's really wanting a call right now. Cole really wanting a call right now. About what? About what is the question? From his mom or his girlfriend or what? I think both, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. I don't think he'll ever leave his phone. 
Oh, fake. Oh, loss of two yards. Pulled flag by Ella. Man, this is intense. I'm on the edge of my seat. There may or may not be a delay of game here. Man, Cole Schrader really put on some weight. <laughs> He's got a belly on him now. She said hut. Hand off. Oh, her flags went down. Her flags went down. <coughs> Clock stopped. Loss of one yard. Um, second down and 11 yards, about, roughly. Jackson is telling us to listen for his whistle. Indeed, listen for the whistle. Oh, drop back pass, drop back pass. She throws it. Oh! It is stopped. Incomplete pass. Eight seconds on the clock. Flag on the play. Red team needs the ball still. OMG. OMG. Agam. Cole is very upset right now. Cole is very upset. He is so frustrated right now. I hopefully this doesn't move over to volleyball later this night. They should have declined the flag. Red team should have declined the ball or declined the flag there. That'll be the mistake to lose them the game right there. Drop back pass. She heaves it up. Red team grabs the ball. Red team grabs the ball. Interception. Timeout, timeout, timeout. Red team ball. One second left on the clock. Or two seconds left on the clock. Very controversial. Very, very controversial. They have time for one play. Time for one singular play left. Can they get a touchdown in one play? Can they and will they? He blew the whistle. He stopped the clock. Both sides, very angry. I wish we'd just choose peace, but they have time for one play. What do you think they're gonna go for, Hill Mary? Sweet? Option? I don't know, they got a lot of options for plays here. One being Hill Mary, but I don't think they can throw it that far, so I think they'll go for either a run or a short pass, and hopefully they can make it to the end zone. They're really going to have to block here, folks. Oh, she heaves it up there. Incomplete. Good defense by Rebecca Heisinger. Well, that's all, folks. Blue team has won 8-6. to six. See you next year. Anything you have to say, Patrick? Meow. Woof, woof. Goodbye, folks.